a cops investigate foul smell from house, end up sick and horrified at what they find. To make your day just that little brighter, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Comment I subscribed and we'll feature some of you in our next video. Whenever someone hears about the cops being called to investigate a foul smell coming from somewhere, it's likely that one particular thing comes to mind, and the rest ends up being history. But what about the times that the obvious ends up not being true? What if it's something so bizarre that 99.9% .9 of the people alive on this planet right now would never be able to even come close to guessing what it is correct? This instance is definitely one of those cases. Police were called to investigate a foul stench coming from one particular house in Talira, a town located in southwestern Madagascar. The town has a population of around 150,000 people and is best known for its university and museums. There is also a very busy port located in Talira which causes many migrant workers to seek employment there as well. This, in turn, attracts many to the town from all ages and all walks of life. Due to prior political unrest and increased outbreaks of incidents across the country, the police were fairly acquainted with calls of this nature. A rancid stench coming from a house was just another day on the job for these officers. On April 18, 2018, the police and other local authorities gathered to inspect the source of a foul odor coming from a two-story house. The police were joined by Sori Randrian Jafasinica, the regional head of the Environmental Agency of Madagascar, and her colleagues, likely just in case the call turned into some sort of issue that could have a negative impact on the environment. When they opened the door to go inside the house, they were met with a gruesome discovery that neither the police nor the Environmental Agency had ever seen before. It wasn't what they had originally expected, but that didn't make it any less horrific and cruel. Hopefully, no one ever has to experience what all of these poor individuals were faced with. What they found inside were thousands of tortoises varying in size completely covering the floors. The tortoises were so jammed up close together, that it was virtually impossible for them to be able to move around. Coming across evidence of animal cruelty is a pretty common occurrence, but this was a truly extreme case. Probably the most extreme case anyone there had ever witnessed in their careers. The scene was bad enough but actually grew even more revolting and shocking as they explored the rest of the house. There was much more to the situation than anyone could have expected. Inside the bathrooms and kitchen in the house, the smell was even fouler. The source of the stench was coming from the fluids and feces the tortoises were excreting. With that many animals confined into such a small space coupled with the horrible living conditions, it's safe to say that not all of the animals were able to make it. And that surely didn't do anything to help with the smell, it made it 10x worse. A few weeks after the discovery Randrian Jafasinica had an interview with National Geographic about the tortoises. You cannot imagine, she said. It was so awful. They had tortoises in the bathroom, in the kitchen, everywhere in the house. The floors of the house were carpeted by the animals of different sizes. But the cruelty of the situation didn't even end there, there was still more to the story. Close to 11,000 radiated tortoises were found inside the house. Randri and Jafasinica assisted the rescuers in counting the tortoises as they load them onto six trucks. It took a number of trips until the following early morning to complete the transfer. The reptiles were transported to a private reserve in Afadi. The species of tortoise found in the house were known as the radiated tortoise. They are a very rare endangered species of tortoise found only in Madagascar. In the reptile trade, they are highly desired due to their extreme rarity. Many countries have treaties that prohibit the importation and exportation of these tortoises, but due to the less than ideal economic conditions in Madagascar, these laws are often ignored by people. What likely happened is that the tortoises were being smuggled into Asia, sold to reptile collectors there, who were then in turn breeding and selling them to consumers. Too many were probably acquired and stored at the house, so the whole operation was abandoned after the perpetrators determined that they had already transported and sold enough of them.